Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Kiki's Kitchen. It's been a very busy week. I've got my porch open and spring cleaning and all that kind of fun stuff. But um, today, and tonight actually, I'm having some friends over for a little birthday party for my friend Nene, and um, I'm making her a chocolate cake. Um, instead of, you know how when you make a layer cake, you put the frosting in the middle of the layers? Well, instead of doing that, um, I want to put chocolate pudding in the middle because, you know, that's good. And so what I've got is a box, a, and I think it's the small, it's the small one, 3.9 ounce box of instant chocolate pudding from Aldi, Aldi brand. Put it in the mixer and it calls for two cups of cold uh, milk, milk, not water. And so I'm using one cup of heavy cream and one cup of 2%. It'll just make it more better. Anything with heavy cream always makes it more better. So all you're gonna do is add that in there to your to your instant pudding. Bring up my mixer and get it mixing. I'm gonna mix that up when it's creamy and done. I'll be back. Hello, we're back. And so the next thing I wanted to show you is um, preparing the pans. But I do wanna show you that this is the pudding that, that uh, we just did. And sometimes I, I forget to tell you the why. So I did half, um, half of this, I did a cup of 2% and I did a cup of heavy cream. And the reason I did that is because, do you see this? I wanted a um, more of a mousse-like consistency because I'm using it as a filling than just a plain old pudding. So, so that's why I did it. And um, I'm gonna put that in the fridge in just a second uh, to, you know, while I bake my cakes and whatnot. But what I did wanna show you, in case you haven't done this, and remember, not everybody is a seasoned cook. So if this is the part you don't like, fast forward. Um, <clears throat> I use parchment, and this is, I get this at Kirkland's, and you get two of these things. I'm gonna say for less than $10, they last me a very long time, and I do a lot of baking. So um, it may be too much for you, but it's a very, very good price, and you it's a good product, very good product. So, gotta show you that. Um, now, what I do is I take my cake rounds, and I put them this side down, because this side, inside is where this is gonna go, right? If I do this, it's gonna to be too big. So I do it flat side down. And I just trace my circles. Make sure I got enough room there. And I like to use parchment paper in the bottom of a cake pan because I like the nice flat top that it offers me um, when my cakes are done. So there's one circle. And there's another. It's just how I do it. If you all have a different way, please tell me. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay, now on to finish preparing the cake pans. So we've cut our, our parchment rounds, right? So this is my Carlini um, cooking spray and I'm gonna cook, spray the sides and the bottom. And I'm going to take this round and stick it right down in there. See? I'm going to do that with both of them. There we go. So those are ready. And I've got my oven preheating at 350 because this will come together in a snap. Oh, I should put this in the fridge. <clears throat> okay, so the now so now what we're gonna do, simple and easy peasy, you know me. So we're gonna do um, a devil's food cake out of a box. And then again, that's a um, Aldi product, Baker's Corner, Devil's Food Cake. And you know what, I do a lot of scratch cakes, I do. But this is a really good cake. So um, if you haven't tried it, you know, and if you don't like box cakes, then don't do it. But it's really, really good. So this is kind of like that orange juice cake that um, I told you about. I'm just switching it up to a chocolate cake instead of orange juice. I'm going to use a cup of coffee. So it'll give it a nice, rich, deep chocolate 
flavor. So anyway, I got one box of, uh, of chocolate devil's food cake in here. I'm gonna put a box of chocolate pudding in here as well. I am going to put one cup of strongly brewed, and this is Black Rifle, and the name of this one is Murdered Out. Um, it's a dark roast coffee, and it is one cup of, of uh, Black Rifle coffee, strongly brewed, and for um, uh, a half a cup of, of butter, so one stick of butter. So I'm going to get that going, and then while that's going, I'm going to crack my eggs. Um, as you know, I always think about this at the last minute, so that's why they're always in the water. Uh, so um, I'm bringing them to room temperature. I just took them out and put, when I started this whole process, and I put them in here with hot, hot, hot tap water, and it brings it down to room temperature immediately. Well, you know. It took me about probably 10 minutes to get to this point, and they're perfect now. So, And something about a room temperature egg, it just lets things rise better. It's, it's better to have a room temperature. It's better to have all of your product. You know, that coffee that I had, it wasn't hot. I had it at room temp. Um, I made it this morning. And, of course, as you know, I am not cracking my eggs into my big bowl because I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to let this beat just a minute and I'll be right back while I wash my hands. Okay, I'm going to start adding my eggs and um, I'm going to do them one, at, I'm going to put them in here one at a time. I'm going to put one in and blend it and put the next in and blend it. So I hate to, I hate to have to talk over this thing, but that's what I'm doing. So one in, and I want to make sure you can see it incorporate in there. I'm going to do this lefty, so wish me luck. And one in. And see, when it starts to get incorporated like that, that's when you want to take your, that's when you want to add your next egg. You get the drift, right? Okay. And last one. It's getting nice and smooth. It's really a good cake. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to do a uh, a buttercream frosting or um, my brother-in-law's mom, Nana Lynn, I just did her chicken, she used to do whipped cream and just add Nestle's Quick to it. A lot of Nestle's Quick, but Nestle's, and it was such a nice, light um, chocolate frosting. It was just beautiful. And with the pudding in the middle of this, that frosting might be kind of a nice way to go. So I might have to do that. Plus, I'd love to show you how to do that. It's really great if you do it over angel food cake. You know, quick little store-bought angel food cake and whip that up. Very good. Okay, look how smooth and creamy that is. I would say we're about done. So, let me get this taken apart, and then we'll come back and put it in the pans. Okay, so we've got it in the cake pans. And this is what my mom always tells me. You see me do it on every one. Knock it on the counter. What she said was it got air bubbles out. Whether it's true or not, I do it every time. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for 350, I believe for about uh, 25, not 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes, and I'll be back. And here they are. It was right at, because I used nine inch pans because I didn't want them that thick because I'm gonna use that pudding to, for a filling. Um, so they weren't going to be real thick, as you can see. That's what I wanted. And um, if and so therefore they took about 25, 28 minutes. Um, if you were to use an eight inch pan, um, you probably, well, if you're going to use an eight inch pan, you probably would use um, 
Well, you could use three if you wanted to, but then if you use three, you'd probably have this too. So it's gonna be, I would check it at 25, but if, if you just use two eight inch pans, it may go to 30, 32. So just check it with a, um, with a um, toothpick, put it in there, if it comes out clean, it's done. Don't over bake it. So I'm going to let this cool. Um, I need to run some errands and I hate to do this to you because I know how much you hate it when I make more than one video. But um, I don't know how to splice things together. I don't have that app to do that. So I have to shut this one down and start a new one because I need my phone. So um, anyway, I will be back to you and make a second video and show you um, what I do with the, the pudding and um, then make that decision on what kind of frosting I'm going to make. So you have yourself a good day. Bye.